this argument is so lazy and it's annoying, the idea of pick better partners and then all will be filled well in the world. The truth of the matter is, it is lazy, number one, because it assumes that there are just an abundance of healthy whole people out here in the world to pick from. When the fact of the matter is, we're all a little bit screwed up. There is no perfection. So while there are people who would have obvious red flags, a ton of them, most people, it's not that way. People present themselves into the world daily in a way that is palatable to other people and that other people believe who we are. But we all know we go home deep down that most of the people we interact with have no clue of who we are. We cannot see in other people's heads. We cannot predict other people because we all have our own perspective and worldview. And therefore, what I am and who I am and what I think and what I value, you don't know those things. I can tell you. But what my truth is versus how I present can often be in opposition. So because you don't know a person's trauma, because you don't know their experiences, those things can lay dormant. And when they come out, you realize you don't know who this person is. This is why men end up having to get divorced and go, I can't believe she's taking me for alimony and for child support. I can't believe um, this person cheated on me. It happens in our friendships. It happens in our families. People have the ability to change. Who we are on a Monday is not who we are on a Wednesday because our experiences are constantly evolving us. That's why we're not the same as children as we are as teenagers, as adults. And in our adulthood, we're still undergoing that change and process as we have more and more experiences. You don't know a person's character. You know what they present and what they tell you. And oftentimes it takes quite a bit of time to really get at who that person is underneath all that they present to be. But on top of that. Black Ram the one three back at it again. You know why? Well, it's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video. Hence, another therapy session. Today's topic and title is Thuggo Love and Be Dub says that it cannot choose better let's get into it first you know what kind of channel this is a ratings channel and i have to give a rating and looking at the creature the subject i will go with a four give me your score if you feel inclined to do so now let's get into the heat the meat of this video. The beast said that it cannot choose better. It's giving an excuse for its love for Thuggo. So let me critique this bit by bit, piece by piece, right? First off, the subject said that it is a myth to choose better partners. A myth. First of all, we understand that the beast has all the power of choice. All of the guys in your DMs, all of the guys approaching you on the daily, you have a lot to choose from. And the choice is yours because you're not going to get with everyone who approaches you, right? The choice is yours. You got plenty to choose from on the daily so it is incumbent upon you to select the best person possible the problem is your selection is based on your values as an individual which we know that such values are usually lacking and are in the tank and what you value is dysfunction chaos and disorder therefore Based on those values, you choose over and over again, Thuggo and Nim. We know, OB-Dub, that at the peak of your youth and beauty, that you will choose Thuggo. We know this is what you want. This is what you desire. And because of your poor choices based upon your values that you hold, you choose Thuggo who makes a poor boyfriend an absentee father and so on and so forth but you chose them you sure can pick them can't you yeah so the creature ends up being a single mother of course because of who you chose to have that little one with yeah you chose that so when you end up as that 
it is all your fault. And we know when you choose Thuggo and Nim, oftentimes there's a high incidence of domestic V. But this is what you like. You like the rough, tough, and tumble. You like the chaos. You like the toxicity because anything else is boring, right? Ugh! Boring, right? Yeah. So Thuggo is what you want. Thuggo is what you choose. And you say that you don't have a choice. I mean, at this point, who in a right mind would ever believe you? I don't even think you believe yourself. And you say over and over again, on one hand, that that's what you like. Have you ever, fellas, here's a survey for you. Have you ever, when talking to a beast, honestly, have you ever met such a one who said that they did not like bad boys? At least for a time. At least for a time. And if it's the B-dub, the bad boy, of course, equals Thuggo. And you like Thuggo because he's just like you. Undisciplined, impulsive, going nowhere fast. And you always try to lump Thuggo in with the thinking man. But I'm here to tell you that such is not so. For the thinking man is nothing like Thuggo. See, the thinking man has something to lose and Thuggo does not. But Thuggo is who you choose. And that's all on you, modern BW, all on you. See, right out the gate, the B-dub does not want to take responsibility for its own choices, which is typical of the creature. Next, number two, it said that there is no such thing as perfection. This is true. Absolutely. No such thing as perfection, but you act as if you don't have the ability to vet your dates. Like you don't have the ability to know that this is thuggo. Like you don't have the ability to say, hey, where have you been in the last five years? See, thuggo's answer is locked up. Your answer is at work or in school. But no, 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 no. You need not apply. So you pick the type of guy that go upside your head. You pick the guy whose ultimate fate is behind bars. You pick a guy who just might unalive you because such is exciting. Of course, there's no such thing as perfection. But that should not be an excuse to go and pick the worst of the worst. Ridiculous, right? Number three, the creature talked about not seeing red flags. Now, here's the thing. Although there's a separation between the thinking man and Thuggo and them, there is no separation between the ratchet B-dub and the hood and the so-called educated B-dub. For the most part, the subject has hive thinking. Act the same and do the same thing. Both have a love for Thuggo. Now, here's my point. If you claim to be so educated, if you claim to be so mature, if you claim to be so wise, well, then why are you making the same choices when it comes to dating and relationships? as the uneducated ratchet in the hood talking about red flags you know good and well Thuggo himself is a big old red flag but I guess your education doesn't make that distinction clear to you again the beast is not choosing where to do melanated guys the beast is not picking guys with their own businesses the beast is not picking guys with bachelor's and master degrees. The beast is not picking guys with trades. The beast is not picking guys who's been on their job 5, 10, 15, 20 years. No, it exclusively chooses the criminal class. Isn't that alone a red flag? It's common sense, but I guess common sense is not so common 
when dealing with the subject. Logic is always lacking in the case of the BW. Now the beast is here in all of its glory, the subject, in all of its glory, in all of its delusion, here talking about there are no red flags. You see that? Well, in case you don't know OB Dub, I'll give you one red flag. I usually don't give advice to the B Dub and them, but I'll make an exception for this video. Here's a red flag for you, B Dub. If he doesn't pull his pants up, then that's a red flag. I'll give you another one. If he's in and out of a cell, well, that's a red flag. I'll give you another one. A bonus. If he has not consistently held down employment, whether that's self-employment or employment from another, then that's a red flag. But you ignore all of those things, all of those big old red flags, don't you? Because your attraction, if you were to be honest, your attraction is exclusively now for Thuggo. The beast goes on to say that you cannot predict other people. Well, it has been commonly said that the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. So all you have to do is look at his past. All you have to do is look at his current as well. And that should tell you enough to make a decision. But again, such good decision making is a miss, isn't it? It's too much like right for you to choose someone who is responsible and a decent individual. That's beyond you. And I understand. See, people are not as complicated as you think. There's always a red flag. But again, the subject will always make an excuse for why it's single and can't find the right person to marry or have a relationship with. Because the truth is, is that at your best, you look past all of the good ones and enjoyed all of your youth and beauty with the bad ones. And now, since age has caught up with you, since the wall is in front of you, and it's not as easy as it once was to attract the guys to your DMs and in public, now you want to complain. Now there are no good men around because you've crossed over that threshold till now, any guy dealing with you, most likely you will have to take care of older thuggo yeah or even young thuggo can we say sugar mama but you've crossed that point now you think you deserve a guy who has this stuff together no 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 those guys are either too smart to marry or are already married either way they want none of you so stay with thuggo that's where you want it to be. Don't change now. But the subject made excuse after excuse as to the reason why it doesn't have a good guy. When all of the power of choice belongs to the beast. My goodness. If this doesn't say that it's over with in the West for dating and relationships, I don't know what does. Try, try, try if you want. But such is an exercise in futility. And if you're going to deal with the modern beast, well, then you're better off to just catch and release. Black Ram 313, I'm out.